Joseph! Joseph! Uh, shit, where did he go? Well, he'll just have to fend for himself. Gotta keep on track. Find Leslie. What did he go do? Unless there was a guy in the other area here, but a uh, little convenient little pathway we can stumble through. To find ourselves in a sewer, and we'll find a friendly. His name was Ruben Victoriano, but now he exists as Ruben inside the Encephalon of Stan. Ruben was brilliant, designing the entirety of the system by himself. But we conflicted over our intentions. And what happened to him? Reuben has been dealt with. The consequences of trusting the wrong people. Ludwig, he knows I'm here. I would hope so. So. We encounter the invisible guys again. Oh, joy. This time we have a bit of an edge, though. This time, we can see them with a flashlight. Previously, we had to rely on... Well, not the flashlight, but we had to rely on just... Seeing where they were because of cans and puddles and stuff. But here... I like how they had little special an uh, animations, too, for this. You probably could have... To, to choke him out there real fast, but eh, to worry about it. It's got like a weird fungi face mixed between uh, Last of Us and uh, John Carpenter's The Thing. John Carpenter's The Thing. I just realized I said that a little too quickly. Uh, I think he's going to go over here and stand. Hence why that hot, that chest high wall is over there. So just a quick boom. Apparently we know where he is, regardless of whatever. Ooh. Just drink coffee, but I'm still tired. So there's a, another one of them. So you want to go in the side area before you head over to that crank over there. Before you crank that soul. Kidman. Another axe, thankfully. The game's so generous with its axes. It's so generous with its weapons. Oh, yeah, the, it, this is the, the first time we're actually able to defeat an enemy. In the first deals, in the first chapter, rather, we couldn't. We had no opportunity to do so. Quickly, ooh, he sees me. If he didn't see me, I totally would have went for it. But he did see me. He wasn't even tur moving his legs. He was just turning, rotating on an axis. That's that's hilarious. I don't know much about programming, uh, but I have friends who do, and I've picked I, I picked up a little just from like. You know, commentary and, and friends. I'm so worried he might have actually saw me and, and tackled me here. Tried to hit me. Our friends and, and co listen to the commentaries and podcasts and stuff. I just know a little bit. Picked up a little bit. And it, it's funny to see some of the, the stuff going. Like, to see him rotate like that. Like, oh, wow, he's, like, not properly working. And, see, and uh, in the first chat, I'm just waiting here just to make absolute sure... So I, don't, I don't want to ruin this. I don't know if they can see me when I peek over around the corner. I would think they could. I mean, poking my head out and everything. But, like in the first DLC, when we activated the computer and that sexy lighthouse lady thing came to us. And uh, it was right around the corner and it looked pretty much right above us and it should have seen us, totally should have seen us. And then you notice this animation started to walk forward, and then it went back on its script and walked back and, and walked back to the thing. To oh, I, thankfully they don't hear anything. And he's right over there. Eh, he's gonna turn, so I don't want to risk it. Well, it looks like the lighthouse thing was gonna walk forward and totally see us, but then it was like, oh no, I gotta follow my script. Then went back and that. It, it's, it's funny seeing that because you're like, oh, you know, I've seen code uh, mainly. <laughs> From accidentally pressing, oh, he doesn't walk all the way anymore. Mainly from pressing, accidentally pressing certain buttons on my keyboard, and opening like coding for web pages. But uh, I've, I've, quite a few of my friends in uh, college, 
which I'm currently attending, <laughs> are, are, you know, all the are nerds who play with programs all day, which, you know, they're cool peeps. So I've, I've seen them, like, code and stuff. I've sit in, I sat in uh, a couple of their classes. Oh. Apologies, jeez. Oh. <laughs> oh, gosh. Ugh. It's all, it's a mess. Uh, oh, oh, it sees me. Kid man. Uh, yeah, I'm friends with a good uh, few of them, and when I was uh, dating one of them, actually, I, I sat in the class with them, in uh, with one of their programming classes. Honestly, programming tech teachers are the coolest people in college, or anywhere, because they would just let me sit in class. They took a test, and he, he was like, here you go, Mike, I to take the test, you're one of the students now. I wasn't enrolled in the class, I was just there hanging out with my friends. Because, you know, most of them were smart enough to do the work ahead of time. Well, were able to do the work pretty easily. And I was there. It, it, was, it was great. It was fun. I sat there. I did the... One of them was, like, compute a Java script bot or something. And I just drew a little robot that had a cup of coffee. It was, like, Java Bot 2000. It was great. Meanwhile, they were, like, actually writing code on this, this paper. If... if if the teacher evaluation wasn't online only, I totally would have evaluated the teacher because he was a—he was an awesome guy. He even like showed him sites, and be like, "Oh, here, you go. check out these sites with these books you can download for classes." Meanwhile, other like business classes, which is what I take, would be like, "Oh yeah, gotta make sure you buy every single thing with your dollars, support the economy and business and stuff." Meanwhile, I'm here like, I download most of my books, saved all my monies. Also, the only comment you'll get in this game until, like, the very end. Infinite ammo. At this point, I was like, oh, this is what that guy meant. You'll be worse off in the beginning, but you'll be much better off later, which is what I thought he meant. This is it. It's like, I'm going to be better off now because I have a gun with infinite ammo. No, no, it's it's super not the case. Because after this part, after this section, your gun, surprisingly, just all of a sudden has no more ammo in it, even if it does have, like, half a clip left. Yeah, it's, it's stupid. But just don't worry about the sexy lighthouse up there. Just shoot the enemies. Especially the exploder guys. I don't know what happens when the regular dudes get to you, but when the exploder guys get to you, they will kill you one hit. One explosion. Then you have to replay the scene and replay the bit. It's annoying. But just, just keep true, and when there's no enemies or just one enemy, and you want to risk it, reload. Try to shoot those guys as far away from you as you can. Because, like I said, if they're close enough, they will kill you. At this part, basically freaking out. Like, oh god, oh god, no, no, no. Just just keep calm. Keep your aim true. Once the dude, once that damn thing drops down, a couple bolts into it. Surprisingly, it's super, it's a little bitch. There's three bolts in it, and it runs away like a baby. Even though if you can get... Oh no, I'm out of ammo. Even though I had ammo in the clip, damn it. So, you saw where it jumped off. If you... Oh, just... It's doing the thing again where it's clicking outside of the screen somehow. Even though it's cursor locked, this game. It's weird. But... In that corner there... There's a ladder. Yeah, 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 whatever. There's a ladder that leads up to the walkway. Which has another uh, collectible in there. And about the others... I told you before. Completely expensive. What kind of food is that? Looks like... Mixed between fish and human flesh. Well, it's not our cat, so it's not our problem. 
I actually don't remember what's going on now. Every every time I played through the uh, the chapter recorded it, I would just erase it from my memory. <laughs> oh, this part, yeah. Wait, yeah, this part, yeah, this part. Okay, yeah, I know this part. Should have spoke sooner. So we have to collect three fuses to continue. And right now we have access to one of them, right over here. And there, are, there, are, there, are, there, are, there is two areas we can uh, adventure in here to get two more fuses, uh, either the right or the left area here. But you know, I'm gonna go this way first because it's right here. And there, jeez, uh, I actually don't remember this area at all. <laughs> Trying to erase from my memory because I, you know, done with these DLCs. Once I've uploaded all these videos, once you've seen all these videos, I'm pretty much done with the game forever. That's creepy. I might eventually live stream it later down the road when I have a better computer and actual people who like my content that will go more than more than two to four people who would join the stream. Well, you know, once it's worth my while, I'll uh, probably live stream it down the road just for funsies. But like, hey guys, I'm going to play through this. For funsies, because you know, recording's nice and all. Sometimes you want to interact with your audience. Sometimes you want to just, uh. Oh, that's gross. You know, sometimes you want to in interact with your audience and just play a game without having to worry about recording. That's the beauty of live streaming. So these are where these things came from. Huh. The beauty of live streaming is, is great. Uh, I haven't done much of it, and. To be honest, I'm sort of bulk recording this summer to have a bunch of stuff to upload and uh, release throughout the school semester. So I, I'm not really going to be able to do anything uh, re with uh, streaming or wise. I might stream some stuff. I, I don't know. It, it depends. Probably not. I mean. If I did, you'll know. Oh, also, keep note, uh, yeah, you want to avoid this enemy. Keep note of the things on the side there when you're walking through the area, but get his attention. So he's like, oh, I'm going to get you. And then just run past him. It's super easy. Also, I believe it's a one-hit KO from this guy, too. Surprise, surprise. So annoying. Honestly, if you were to, if, if you were to get any DLCs in this game, I would suggest, well, the Fighting Chance Pack. Because not only does it give you a fighting chance in the beginning of the game, well, the third chapter when you finally get the items, uh, but you know it unlocks certain items like the fire crossbow, which is super helpful later down the road. So, it gives you a fighting chance not only in the beginning of the game, but also later in the game. But also the keeper DLC. We'll get to that later. But I actually that's that's the one DLC I actually had fun with. That's, that's pretty much one of the only par uh, parts of this game, main story and other DLC included. That I actually had like legit fun with. Like I would have had more fun with this game if it wasn't so cheap. Like enemy detection ranges can be a little cheap. Damage is cheap. I play through the main game and these DLCs on the easiest difficulty, and I still got instant killed and multiple times from bosses and enemies, and super easily killed by different enemies. It's so annoying. It really is. Like. Just, just some, some things in these in this game just makes me really disappointed. I bought it so early. Like it, it's so cheaper now, fairly later. But we got the fuse. I mean, there's a collectible over that way too. I mean, the, the game's fun. I, I like what they were going for, but the execution was pretty poor. Like the main game, you know, it was most like, oh, look at all these fancy monsters. Ooh, it's so scary, right? And it didn't focus much on story. This DLC had a lot more story in it that should have been in the main game. But, you know, it was it's still cheap with some of its mechanics. And the Keeper DLC was has no story, but its mechanics are pretty fun. I don't know. All in all, I'd say it's okay. Check it out if you're a fan of horror and... I wouldn't say it's classic survival horror, because... Like you know, like in the main game, it starts off 
pretty good. Like, the first third of the game was pretty fantastic. You know, you get into an area, you have to stealth around. You can stealth around and kill some dudes, or you can just kind of gun them down, like in the beginning of uh, Resident Evil 4 in the village. I mean, that's a village too, so... A little trap there, just be careful, don't activate it. Because it will, I think it will pretty much... I'm pretty sure it will insta-kill you, considering what happens. Yeah, I'm sure you can guess. But... Yeah, the first third of the main game is absolutely fantastic. The last third, though, is pretty... Pretty shite. You, you go from stealthing around, killing dudes here and there, until uh, you're like, alright, I think I killed them all. Yeah, then one activates, and then you have to fight a couple dudes, and you're like, oh, jeez, I'm out of ammo, and I'm almost dead. That was... That was rough and fun. You go from that to, oh, I have this sniper rifle, this shotgun, this handgun, and it to fight down these dozen enemies to continue. Activate that, good, good. Oh, jeez. I don't, I, I hate how he goes around, it's so annoying. Activate it, and boom. Yeah, that's, you're, you're pretty much dead there. Now we have this, a similar thing in this next room here with these two folks. Although those traps only activated once, so let's hope I can get one of use. Ooh, there's an achievement for getting. Oh, don't run out of energy. That'd be really bad. There's an achievement for getting two of these, folks, uh, with one trap. Oh, I ran out of energy. That's super not good. Cause one hit, and it hits me into the corner with it with the other person. I'm basically dead. If I can get lucky. I might be able to... Oh, gee. You you literally, like, stumbled six feet. You stumbled and... Oh, it's so, so annoying. The key is to wind it up some to at least get... Be, because they run over and they, they... There's, like, no time. Just... Thankfully, as soon as you get into cover, your health starts regenerating, which is awesome. But... I cannot lose this purse, this enemy because of my health. It's so annoying. And oh, getting out of covers is is really difficult in this game. It's so I don't know how to exactly explain it, but it's just so it doesn't want to let go. It's so sticky and confused. Like, see, the enemy's right behind me, I'm trying to go to the locker, but I can't because the enemy's right behind me. Thankfully, I'm back to at least half health half my health, so now I can actually escape this enemy, but barely. Hmm. Let's see if I can get to the locker. Probably not. Oh, well. Alright. If I didn't collapse... Ah, stupid. If I didn't collapse, I probably could have got to the locker. Like, see, I was at exactly half my health, and then one hit killed me. It's so stupid. I'll just cut a little bit.